Easter is about a promise and a great hope. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me shall never die. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We have that great promise and hope. Now, i got to tell you, this great hope and promise goes back thousands of years. Back in Genesis chapter 50 and verse 24, Joseph said, God will surely visit you and bring you out of this land into the land which he swore to Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob. But there were some dark days after that promise. Bad, dark days. And an amazing thing happened. God's people were in suffering. They were in bondage. And I'm sure that many of them felt that possibly God had forgotten them. But he hadn't forgotten them. And can I tell you, he hasn't forgotten you either. In Exodus chapter 2 and verses 1 through 10, we have a great story of the fulfillment of that promise. Uh, a man by the name of Moses was born during that time, miraculously. They were killing baby boys at that time. And God spared Moses. Matter of fact, he was spared by Pharaoh's daughter and raised in Pharaoh's house. Now, the story of the birth of Moses is truly miraculous. But it says in Exodus chapter 2 and verses 23 and 24, And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried, and their cry came up to God by reason of the bondage. And God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Now, Moses would be the fulfillment. He would be the one who would lead those people to the promised land. Thousands of years later, they were also living in some pretty dark days. And people again were crying out to God. They were also killing baby boys at that time. But an amazing thing happened. God stepped out of heaven into a manger. And he took on flesh. And he paid the price for our sins on the cross of Calvary. God always keeps his promises. And I want you to know that he has not forgotten you. Jesus is the hope and the promise.